Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Volkswagen Golf 8 i Hybrid. This is the plug-in hybrid uh, Golf in 2021. One of the best option if you want to have the boat uh, electric range and also the petrol world. So that's kind of the best combination in this class at least because the Volkswagen come with this Golf 8 i Hybrid with 204 horsepower uh, the possibility to drive only in electric mode 80 kilometers that's amazing uh, also the total range the electric range and also the petrol range it will be around 870 kilometers that's that's really insane uh, if you want to go to work uh, every day, you know, uh, you can go in electric mode. If you want to go to trips, you can you can use the petrol uh, option, and you can drive in hybrid mode. So that's that's really insane. And today, I want to review the car. I want to show you the interior, exterior. I want to give you all the details as possible about this new Golf 8 i Hybrid. I think also it has a great price. Uh, but anyway, until then, if you are from Switzerland, uh, you can check out the cars at Amag in Bern, uh, the price, and you can test the cars uh, as well. And yeah, let's go, guys, to the first uh, information that I want to give you right now. And we will start, of course, with the uh, price and stuff like that. So we have here uh, the Golf Style, the Golf 8. A style this is the version it comes with a 1.4 liter TSI petrol engine combined with a uh, electric motor together will have 204 horsepower it comes with an automatic transmission DSG uh, dual clutch transmission with six gear speed uh, also it has this amazing shift by wire transmission that it's my favorite I have to tell you it's gorgeous guys check out the test drive if you want to find out more uh, about that here you have all the, the options that come on this model right here. You can pause the video and read it out if you want to. But I will explain you as we go on the video, so stay with me until the end. The price of this car is 44,800 francs. I will add the price in dollars, of course. But the new car here in Switzerland, at least, the price will be 52,350 francs, the new uh, price. But depending which country you are, the price may be different. Uh, because the car has 3,000 km, the price is also better, so uh, will be a great, great deal if you want, if you are in the market for a, a plug-in hybrid car. 1.4 liter, you see already four cylinders, by the way, and sometimes the car can drive also in two cylinders. That will get automatic when you drive on the highway or you go directly in the electric mode. So uh, I test the car. If you want to see the test drive with the car, check out on my channel or subscribe to the channel to see the notification when and the video will come out so you will not miss it now we will start with the exterior of course i want to turn on the lights also it comes with these great controllers right here start engine button it's in the middle okay one more time just like that let's go outside we will start with the exterior as always guys I want to show you the exterior design i have to tell you that it looks like a perfectly normal volkswagen golf 8 only it has a few difference just a few difference for example the writing here in the back where you have the i hybrid so you know this is the plug-in hybrid when you see the i hybrid and the other difference is that here in the back guys you have the tank here on the right side here's the tank keep in mind i think i have to open it from inside and the other difference if you look on the other side of the car guys right here you will see another port another door and here's the charging port you can charge the car with 11 kilowatt hour speed uh, so you will need around three hours to charge it full from zero to, to 100 around four hours so you will have a full battery 80 kilometer only in electric mode it's it's quite insane a big improvement from the previous versions uh, and that's something that i i like it other than that the same design beautiful design in my opinion i love the lines golf volkswagen golf was always a beautiful car in my opinion always a nice compact cars with beautiful lines now they just change a little bit the, the design they make it a little bit more aggressive more sharp it has more sharp edges if you look here in the front at the hood you can see the lines 
uh, that go on the hood make the car a little bit more aggressive it looks much more sportier also i like very much the grille in the front some glossy uh, glossy plastic with chrome design and not only that it has also new here an led light you can see right here inserted in the grille uh, I don't know if you see it so well, but I like the way it looks. I see it um, in the night time and, and it looks really beautiful. You can see the LED right there all over the grill. Kind of the grill because it's no, no more any grill there. But yeah, it's great that you have this LED daylight there. It looks really nice. And this part here, I like it. And I think it improved a lot the aerodynamic of the car because you don't have a grill right there in the middle. The air can go around the car, so you will have a great aerodynamic. So Volkswagen work a lot of the aerodynamic of the car, so they make the car much more uh, economical, much more aerodynamic. So here in the middle you have the Volkswagen Golf logo. Behind is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features is right here behind. Then you can see uh, the LED light, you have the turning following, the LED following signal, you have the new IQ light, this is the latest technology from Volkswagen and you have this cornering light, kind of uh, the full matrix LED light, if you look closely there you can see it has million million of little LED lights, those square, they are separately uh, LED lights and this light in the nighttime it's crazy i had the car before uh, in the nighttime i drive it and it's one of the best light that you can have it on the market because you know it doesn't blind the other traffic participant it will create a form so it doesn't go in the in the other car so it's just insane it has this assistant high beams now down here you have six parking sensors in the front also those sensors on the side they are used for blind spot technology but keep in mind there are six uh, then you have this kind of glossy matte insertion with with glossy white beautiful uh, chrome design inserted here here down here you have the air intakes where the air will go inside to the radiator to cool down different parts on the engine uh, overall beautiful design on the bumper quite nice simple nothing fancy nothing crazy but it's it's quite um, yeah, sportier. Also, interesting lines you can see here on the side. Another line that go all over the car. Then you have another line here that beginning on this area. So you can see uh, that those sharp edges lines make the cars much more sportier. And this this Volkswagen Golf, it's it's insanely good in terms of of design, sharp edges and lines and stuff like that. Anyway, up here around the windows, we have big windows. I like the fact that you have glossy plastic between the, the windows here. You have also a Volkswagen writing down there. This is a new thing. Chrome design on the downside of the window. The handles are also uh, the same as the previous version. Keyless entrance. All you have to do, just put your finger here, lock and unlock the car uh, without any problem. But I will need this key. I'm not sure if it's work because the engine is on right now. I will have to turn off the engine and then I can show you that. You can lock the car just like that. Electronic folding mirrors, of course. Latest technology. Open the car, just put your finger here. So pretty nice. Also, you have an LED light inside here, inside the handle for the nighttime. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, the quality of the doors are also very good. So you can hear the sound. It's really, really good when you close the door. So down here, you can see also another line here, sharp edges line down to the doors here that make the car much more sportier. On the down part here, we don't have any protection. So you can see it's directly the paint of the car. I wish Odo to be some kind of protection on the down part for the future. But the good part is that here on this area, you have this plastic protection that protect the body of the car. That's really good. I like that very much. Um, the fact that they think to protect this area because here in time it gets a lot of rust but yeah the fact that you have that plastic there it's it's really really practical let let me go to the mirrors here uh, also very nice design quite sharp edges nice uh, modern design I like this line here you have LED lights on the on the light there on the turning signals then you have the mirror quite big nice mirrors great visibility the blind spot technology it's right here on the sides 
Uh, you can see also I test that in my drive test. You can see it there a little bit better how this is working. Let's go in the back here. We start with the upper part. We have the radio antenna in the glossy plastic. Nice as well. Also the roof spoiler, one of my favorite part. <laughs> Uh, it looks really good with this glossy black plastic in this area help a lot the aerodynamic and not only help the aerodynamic But also it looks very good here. You have the LED lights in the back. So um, the, the braking light But overall a nice design really nice Now going down here on the right side you have the tank as I said before the tank It's on the right side for the petrol you have here the latest technology in terms of light also on the reverse you have the IQ light right there, uh, LED lights everywhere, even the turning signals. You can see you have following turning signals, tail lights, LED, beautiful, beautiful design in my opinion. Um, yeah, I know Volkswagen, they are very good with LED lights and in terms of lights in, in the last period, last years, they make some crazy good lights and also the, the design in the interior there is so nice. You can look a little bit closer super beautiful to see so good work on this uh, compact class and in this Volkswagen Golf that it's a production car you have some lights uh, like a premium car uh, it's it's quite impressive and it totally deserved the money I think the work they put on this light uh, it's totally make make the car worth to pay the money that they ask for and as you see before golf here behind this logo you have also the reverse camera under there uh, then you have the golf writing here pretty nice the e-hybrid oh, of course on the right side you see it before then down here you have led lights on the number plates and also in the back you will have six parking sensors also those sensors on the side they are used for blind spot technology also some uh, light reflectors on the both sides and then we have the fake exhaust pipes in chrome down here they make the car look much more sportier because the the real exhaust pipe real one it's it's under the car somewhere there so anyway this is the back of the car i like very much the back of the car i think uh it looks gorgeous in my opinion the back it's my favorite part on this new volkswagen golf then you go on the side also it doesn't look any, any bad also from from the side it looks quite okay um, now let's go to the rims i want to show you also the rims guys right now the car have winter tires on it but those are if i'm not wrong 16 inch rims normally it has to come with 17 or 18 inch but this this time the car come with 16 inch because this is the winter tire so they change it and those rims really doesn't look so bad uh, and they, they do a great job over the bumps so it helps a lot the suspension so make the car much more comfortable so it also look great so i totally recommend you to, to drive the, the, the Golf with 16 inch will be really comfortable. Um, also, you have the ventilated brake discs there. I think you can see it. The car come with ventilated brake discs in the front, pretty big. Um, and the brakes work really good. As I test it also in the back, in the back the car come only with brake discs, so they are not ventilated in the back. Anyway, something to keep in mind. Uh, tinted windows in the back, going in the front part. Uh, the front part it's also quite nice and the lights are just insane let me go a little bit now you can see the lights um, the lights on the car guys if you buy a golf these days totally recommend it to get it with this iq lights because you will be impressed how good the light it is right here you have a camera for lane assist reading the traffic speed limit uh, then you have the sensors for raining and the light right there under the camera so yeah quite great this is the exterior let's go forward guys let me go to the engine bay let me open the engine bay i will turn off the lights because you already see them and also the engine so actually the motor because the engine was not on so let's go here let me show you that part so you have a manual lift gate in the front uh, and here is the petrol engine pretty classic array as always uh, here is the battery guys for the 12 volt battery for the electric system of course the electric motor is somewhere under there 
um, and yeah 1.4 liter petrol engine combined with the electric motor 204 horsepower yeah. all right let's go forward let's go in the back let's go in the trunk guys uh, to show you more information about the car so open the trunk pretty simple uh, just like that and here is the trunk also the trunk it's pretty classic on the golf in the last years then you have the triangle up here you have the handle to close it it's a manual lift gate you have this protection here that we will take it out and i will show you the way it looks without this protection um, here pretty big entrance some plastic at the entrance here you have like three centimeter deepness kind of here then you have hooks in every corner you have storage space on the left side also hooks for groceries hooks 12 volt port this is very useful and not all the cars have it in this class led light up here i like that that you have led light in the trunk also storage space here on the left side the cable that come with the car this will when you buy the car it will come with cable this is a um, 11 kilowatt hour cable so keep in mind that the the car come with this cable as well under the floor here guys i know you're curious what it is you can open this up just like that and under the floor you have not so much space you have just a little space on the on the right side in comparison with the normal golf uh, ETSI if you want to see the trunk from from uh, the normal Volkswagen Golf 8 check out on my channel the full review there I show you the trunk but here because of the tank um, because of that batteries uh, that it's there and stuff like that you will don't have any space under here so in comparison with uh, with the normal Volkswagen Golf so that's keep in mind uh, the trunk it's kind of limited but other than that phenomenal car just just phenomenal no complaining about that now guys let me take this out and then i will show you the trunk without this protection all right i just take it out now you can make a better idea the entrance in the car it's quite big i think you can still carry here like big items you know like a fridge or like a wash machine you can still fit in here without any problem uh, in my opinion so it will be not such a big deal just you're limited under here so that's something to keep in mind you have to give up of something when you want to win something you know in life it's like that so you give up on, on a little bit space to in order to have that economy now here you have the opportunity to have long items like skis or whatever you want to carry in the same time you have two persons in the back and also you can carry uh, long items so that's it's a plus for the car and I like it also you want to fold down the seats do it like that just in just one second now I have to push it a little bit down there in order to be flat but you will have a flat you will have a flat floor guys here check it out look at this quite quite practical space the fact that you have a flat floor here make you carry also big items without any problem so if you are not uh, mind that you don't have so much space under this floor here then the space it's it's quite good you can see from here plenty of space to carry different items uh, so you can carry there without any problem so you don't have to worry in my opinion about the space if you are just two person you fold down the seats you put huge huge things there and if i go here on the side you have also a big door big entrance in the car here quite quite huge entrance uh, you can go inside the car really really easy also you can see a little bit better the way it looks from this uh, angle as i said flat floor um, and yeah it's a pretty practical space also you have some storage space here on the on the legs room so you can put your stuff down here uh, you don't put it under there you will put it here so it will be okay overall it's it's not bad uh, and i like that you have a big entrance um, and yeah we will go inside and we will talk also about the other stuff let me put everything back guys and then we will go inside the car so we will talk about the other things Guys, before we go inside, let's talk a little bit about the doors. Here we have 
a big windows. This is my favorite style of back door in a compact class uh, because you see they make the window very long from two pieces. So you can see you have two pieces right here, one long and one short, and that that it's directly on the door. It doesn't leave any window on the on the body of the car, and that's great because the two things happened right here you have a big entrance in the car and you can see right here it's a huge entrance like in an SUV and the second good thing is that you have a great visibility because of the long of the window and in the same time you can fold down this uh, window all the way down uh, and this one will be fixed here but I will show you when we go inside now let's talk a little bit the design the design of the door it's very beautiful as they use on the exterior of the car those sharp edges lines that you can see it right here on this area uh, even though on this area up here on the upper part in the back side it's plastic they made a nice design so that's a good thing now then you have the handle uh, you have also plastic here also nice lines but down here where is the important things you have soft material stuff material here stuff and nice material you have electric button for the windows you have a big handle you have plenty of storage down here stuff material here and then you have the speaker and also guys you have ambient light inside the door up here ambient light so that you can see it in the nighttime and then you have another ambient light here so you can see the color right now you can change the colors I will show you on the multimedia system in a second but keep in mind that here you have this ambient light good now that we see the design and the door uh, are nice let's go inside as you see here we have stuff material in the interior but in my opinion they have quite a nice uh, design uh, they have side support uh, you have this kind of alcantara in the middle it's not alcantara but it feels like it's Alcantara so I like it very much and even here nice soft material pretty pretty good um, Stuff material also in the middle you have here uh, an armrest with two cup holders pretty uh, useful as well um, And then you have uh, the ISO fix for child you can install two child seats and overall side support down here overall the design uh, the the comfort it's it's gorgeous now let's see the seats behind the seats we have some storage space here and down here and even on the other seats stuff material everywhere we don't have any plastic so it's stuff material i like that and going forward here in the middle you have two vents they feel quite good quite good quality um, and also you can adjust the temperature from here uh, i will show you in a moment but i have to to put the contact to the car first time and then you can see um, let me put it in just like that and now I think you can see it yes okay you can change from here the temperature so you can choose which temperature you want how many degrees you want to have here in the back so just like that super super simple we have two USB-C ports very useful in the back here so great job Volkswagen for that I really appreciate uh, that you add those USB now let's go inside I love the position here you have plenty of space on your knees and this is in my driving position uh, maybe a little bit more in the back you can make an idea yourself and you can see that I have plenty plenty of knees room I can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat so it's not bad at all also headroom five fingers no problem also uh, the visibility on the window as I said before it's gorgeous because they make this shape here so I can look in the back as well without any problem so I have an amazing amazing visibility so I think they should always keep this kind of shape of the windows and on the doors in the future cars um, I think this is a great great idea I like it and also the soft material here and the position in the seats are gorgeous they are perfect I don't think you will have any pain in your back for long trips uh, and they are wide enough and long enough so you can see I don't have any space here so that's that's a good thing so love the design great job Volkswagen also you have a handle up here a hook you have LED light here with touch you can see you can just touch this uh, stuff material all over the roof I love the white roof the bright white roof it's gorgeous um, I like that it makes much more brighter inside the car uh, and I love it let's go in the middle you have a transmission tunnel quite big right there but let me go still in the middle 
now plenty of legs room here and here as well uh, also in the front you already see it so no problem um, headroom I have like four a little bit less headroom here in the middle four fingers and half maybe uh, almost I cannot say I stretch my hand uh, in the left side also in the right side but you can have three people here in the back for medium and short trips without any problem it's a little bit stiffer in the middle here it's not so comfortable as on the side but still you can you can be here for short trips and stuff like that I mean it's it's, it's okay it's okay you can do that it's, it's not bad at all now going in the front now guys we will talk about the new changes the great big changes in the front on the dashboard on the center console uh, I think Volkswagen kill the market with these new changes uh, i love the the new um, dashboard i like very much uh, the steering wheel the multimedia system the cockpit and everything that they do in the front right there i think they they just do a great job and even the center console it's gorgeous uh, this shift by wire transmission uh, level and it's, it's gorgeous now all right let's go in the front and let's continue in there guys guys so we start with the door big window also in the front here from one pieces i like that so you have a good visibility in the mirror blind spot technology right there in the mirror as you see before and now this time in the front part here on the door we have a few changes first and most important on the upper side we have soft material this time here it's soft and nice material everywhere kind of the same nice interesting shape then you have the handle with this chrome design lock and unlock buttons then we have also inserted in the door here kind of a nice trim of matte uh, gray uh, plastic ambient light of course inside the door there then here the stuff material on this area stuff material on your armrest uh, the buttons electric buttons to adjust the different uh, positions then you have the the mirrors here from here you can adjust the mirror the way you want it uh, up down electrically adjustable mirrors also you have the possibility to heat up the mirror from from in this um, in this position here so that's great that's great to have those options and then going here huge storage space as always golf have some huge storage space in the door bends stuff material in the interior very good quality there and then you have also uh, the button to open the the tank for the petrol and then you have here the speaker guys down there so overall uh, much better quality on the doors uh, in the front and let's go inside right now big entrance of course and let me show you the seats the seats of course beautiful design uh, pretty comfortable pretty big wide and long I like that they are super wide and very long so you have a perfect position there even up here pretty wide and uh, you have side support here for sporty driving you have this nice material in the middle they are very comfortable they test Volkswagen really test for many many times these seats and uh, they did a great job so you don't have any pain on your back so they are really good quality now my surprise is to see that this Golf come with this ergo active um, controllers here so you have heat uh, you have massage on your seats that's impressive you have the possibility to to save your seats position from here uh, electric adjustable seats you can adjust it in every position the way you want it from here that's really great also you can adjust the front part here super simple uh, the pedals are normal no aluminum pedals on this normal uh, golf 8 i hybrid uh, then you have the level here to open the front. Uh, other than that, some plastic at the entrance, so nothing interesting here at the entrance in the car. But if you go a little bit upper here, uh, become to see uh, the changes, the big changes from these years. And this is these vents here. Look how nice the vents look like. They are beautiful. They have nice design, nice lines. They are just crazy beautiful and also on the other side there uh, really really beautiful design also look at the vents look at the way they integrate it in the dash i think it make a lot of sense and they look gorgeous now also uh, it continuing a little bit upper here this kind of a gray 
matte uh, design here let me go a little bit backwards so you can see how well they integrate the dashboard there how well they integrate this new multimedia system glossy plastic uh, pretty nice and then you have the screen there and then you have the multimedia uh, really beautiful the way they integrate it and i like also those touch buttons the same as audi you know they, they kind of take the idea from audi and all you have to do is just put the finger here uh, the front fog lamps maximum uh, defroster rear defroster uh, then you have the rear uh, fog lamps it's, it's just crazy and easy how you can adjust uh, and you just put your finger there it looks so premium it looks so expensive to be honest um, yeah let's go inside guys now let me speak from the interior it's a little bit more quiet here uh, and also the insulation of the car it's insanely good a lot of car pass by here but we have very good insulation in the car they did a great job with that you can hear so much noise from the exterior now look at the the visibility on the windows as i said before you have great visibility um, in terms of visibility it's a super super practical car so you don't have to worry about that pretty nice visibility also you can check out one more time the seats in the back there they they look really good now in the middle also you have an armrest you can adjust it the way you want it you can also leave it a little bit upper like that so if you want to have your hand like this or you can put it downer or you can close it like that it's it's great to to be able to put it in which position you want plenty of space down here so you can put some things here then forward you have a 12 volt port here you have also uh, the possibility here to have your cup holder or you can close that like this and then you have plenty of space here this is the key by the way i almost forget to show you the key uh, this is the new key great key beautiful design it's a premium key uh, i mean uh, for the people that don't know nothing about cars if you come with this key and you show it to someone it will think that you have a very expensive car in my opinion and it looks really good anyway let's go forward now uh, going forward a little bit here we have uh, electronic handbrake auto hold that also super useful and super fancy uh, the center console here it's phenomenal for me in my opinion it's that they did a great job they, they uh, get rid of that stick huge stick that looks super super ugly and they make it super flatter and you can see from the driver point of view it's awesome that you have all this space here you have a nice um, space uh, here where you can put your key for example then you have a big space there where you can have your phone wireless charging there and also if you look closely you have two usb-c ports super useful so you have four usb ports in this car it's phenomenal useful these days no glossy plastic here because people complain about that volkswagen hear the people listen the people and they change it and this time you have a matte uh, plastic here in this area uh, some chrome design and then very simple very nice very clean the way it should be this is the way it should be you don't need more than that it's just all you need man i mean the start engine button it's so fancy it's positioned it in a perfect position and it's great to have all those things in the same space not the start stop button here the level here and the other buttons here i mean all in the same space in my hand all they are in one hand how cool is that it's really useful uh, and the shift by wire guys it's gorgeous it's phenomenal it's perfect i mean i love it i love it it's so easy to change the gears just by by putting forward and backward then you have the park button here the start stop engine and the brakes it's perfect i mean it's 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 gorgeous great job volkswagen i respect you for that really i respect what you did here down here it's it's really a great job and not only down there but if you look from the driver point of view impressive i didn't expect that the, the steering wheel it's also heated i don't expect that yes look at the button here i didn't see it before heated steering wheel wow impressive impressive good let me go forward from the driver point of view you have a great visibility guys so uh in the cockpit uh in the multimedia system because it's tilted to the driver a little bit tilted i think you can see you see it it's tilted like this and it's perfect from from my head to see the screen there the way it should be always 
great job again for this one too and the head-up display of course that it's right there directly on the windshield guys i know i praise so much this car but i was a big fan i have two golfs before and i have to tell you i was i'd never have problem with the golf uh, head-up display look phenomenal you can see it in the middle there is directly on the windshield so it's not like a glass here and the, the resolution the graphics are good so uh, you have to try it you have to test it and then tell me what you think guys i test a lot of cars and i know you can adjust the steering wheel manually from down there check this out forward backward up and down so yes pretty awesome super simple manually let me show you the glow box pretty big glow box here quite nice so you don't have any CD player there, you have an LED light up there, but other than that, nothing, no CD player or stuff like that. So you have to forget about that. You have to use the, the cables in, in order to hear music or whatever you want to do it. So anyway, um, I like also very much that you have soft material all over the dash. You have soft, 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 soft material. You have a speaker there, the vents, and you have soft material everywhere here down a little bit you have this nice design on the on the dashboard the same gray material nice trim uh, then you have these vents here also very well integrated very modern in my opinion it's, it's much better than that old shape that you find it in all the cars almost the same the fact that they come with this line something like tesla something like new hyundai Tucson they have the same line same interesting uh, insertion in the dash it's gorgeous I mean it's the way they should go for the future here in the middle you have also the buttons for assistant uh, climatic system parking blinkers and mode I will show you later what it's all about uh, they are very well placement uh, and then you have the multimedia system inserted in this glossy black plastic um, that look really good and also it continuing on the head-up display on the cockpit display and then it's continuing with those buttons there that i showed you before uh, really nice really nice integrated right here uh, i think also looks really really modern and nice now let's talk a little bit about the steering wheel and then we will go to multimedia system the steering wheel guys it's also a new one it's made by leather, great grip, nice uh, comfort and great quality. You can see the stitches. You can see that it comes also with some pedals here to change the gear manually. If you want to have some fun, you can change the, the gears from here. I also test it. Check it out on my test drive video on my channel if you want to see it. You have the new Volkswagen logo. Pretty beautiful, really nice integrated there. You have the controllers here, the buttons where you can control the cruise control. Uh, the adaptive cruise control the distance and all that stuff and on the other side of course you have the controller for the cockpit i will show you in a moment uh, you have also the heated steering wheel button here that i see it now and then you can change the uh, the different uh, music i think from here change the tracks or the radio station and then the views from here and you can change the cockpit and i will show you also but uh overall the steering wheel it's nice chrome design glossy plastic well well very well insertion very nice design it looks super super beautiful um in my opinion it's it's a great great steering wheel from here you can change the different views on the cockpit also from here you have the view so if you press the view guys you can see that it will get you in a different view let me zoom in a little bit like that and you can see that it goes to different view you can see the speedometer the consumption this was my consumption for the test drive so you can see 2.2 liters consumption in hybrid mode it's just insanely good so you will have a great great consumption you can see how much battery you have the speedometer and also all kind of information about the battery when you use power when it's regenerate and stuff like that then you can go to see uh, the navigation you can see only the navigation on the screen or you can customize to see the adaptive cruise control and um, that assistant systems then the speed or then the classic way and of course here you can change the different views also on the left side so you can customize in many many crazy ways wherever you want to see on the left side uh, or wherever you want to see on the right side so how, how cool is that I mean how cool is that it was this one and then on the right side of course you can customize here radio navigation uh, speed wherever you want you can have it in the left in the right and even 
in which which view you can customize the way you want it so that's that's crazy good the resolution the colors is just perfect i mean um, i love this screen i think they did a great job now let's go forward you have also here in the multimedia system is this is the new one people really complain about that i, I hear so many people complain about this system why volkswagen doesn't use physical button for climatic system and stuff like that but guys you get used with it really fast because down here if you look closely you have a climatic button you press this clima button it gets you directly to the climatic system all you have to do to turn it on and off is just pressing here put your finger right here actually you don't have to press nothing because it's a touch screen you put your finger here and now it's on and then all you have to do from down here as you can see you have some kind of controllers with your finger swipe 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 you can see you change the temperature by swiping your finger there so it's it's easy also with the sound the same story here in the middle if you don't need any uh, noise but also you can do it from here from steering wheel, much easier um, but once you're here look how easy it is you have also uh, the smart climatic system so on the smart climatic system you have already set uh, here a few options for example um, you but let me change the language first time uh, here is the menu it's like a tablet it's super simple to use go to the menu go to the settings where are the settings set up here and then you can change the language you have many languages here uh, many many languages that you can change and you can have your car in, in over 20 languages if I'm not wrong look at this plenty of languages anyway let me go back go to climatic system press this button down here go to climatic and then you have defrost windows warm my feet warm my hand cool my feet fresh air you need fresh air press this one and the car will do automatic for you fresh air you need cool my feet oh I'm so hot on my feet press this button they will cool your feet warm my hands it will warm your hands warm my feet defrost windows directly you don't have to press anything so all you have to do is just press one of these and it will do what you want if you want to do manually of course you can do it manually you go to the classic climatic system and you have kind of a touch screen you can choose the speed of the vents from here super simple uh, then you can choose um, also uh, to have the air only inside upside stuff like that also here you have heated seat you can turn off the heated seat and turn it on and off temperature synchronized for both uh, passengers rear you have also the rear here to choose echo the way you want it in the rear side there and then you have the air care of course it comes from skoda the air care it's a gorgeous gorgeous option to have it on your car great so you can see right now it will try to do that um, anyway let's go forward uh, this is the climatic system guys I, I just really want to show you that first time uh, then here down here you have another buttons assistant systems it will get you directly to the assistant systems uh, so all you have to do is just press that button and you have here all the option adaptive cruise control lane assist ACC that side assist uh, blind spot technology dynamic road display uh, signs traffic alert echo assist emergency brake and you can activate and deactivate from here here in no time super simple by putting your finger first time here on assistant parking here parking menu it will get you to the park menu here and you will have the park distance controllers park assist here uh, so you have it right here all you have to do is just press this one and it will open the camera in the back going back to the parking let me go back yes and then you have the park assist so the car come with park assist it will show you park the car it will tell you what it's on the right side on the left side you have to to turn the signal on to park press the start on the infotainment system you know and if you press the start the car will try to park look at this yeah but this this you can see and the car will start to park but i'm not in the position where the car uh, it can it, it can park so i just show you that this is this is really able to do that anyway let me go forward uh, down here you have the climatic system you see it already and then you have the mode here the mode it's the most important in a hybrid plug-in hybrid car because it will allow you to change the different driving mode e mode it will allow you to drive only in electric mode hybrid 
it will allow you to drive also in electric and uh, in uh, petrol mode or uh, IC mode and you see how much battery you still have here uh, then you have the the, for example in e-mode you can choose eco mode you have also the comfort mode the sport mode and individual you can individualize the way you want it depending on which mode you are driving the car is reacting the changing gears uh, the acceleration and the steering wheel and also the uh, suspension it will change depending on which mode you are now of course here in hybrid mode you have different settings you can set the battery to limit the battery uh, at how much you want to be charged and how, how if you want to limit it and you have you want to use later if you are driving on the highway and you want to use later the battery you can set a limit and you can use it later so overall i think you understand what are all those buttons and let's go to the multimedia system here this is like a tablet and also you have here the shortcuts for the seats and for the climatic system all you have to do put the finger down here uh, if you don't want to press the, the the button down there but here is the main menu it's like a tablet press here and then you go in the menu if you press one more time it gets you to the home screen in the home screen you have the navigation you have the radio you have the vehicle you have the telephone you have also this gesture control you can see you can use the gesture control it's interesting anyway uh, on the home screen you have here also another uh, page where you can widgets all those stuff so you can widgets you can choose what you like to see here in this area and here you have the, the consumption on the last kilometers you can see also the consumption in the last 1000 kilometers you will see that the consumption is around 5.7 liters pretty good consumption uh, and yeah since refueling you can see all those stuff right here it has a great consumption overall the car it's, it's a great great car with great consumption but anyway this is the home screen if you go to vehicle it will get you directly to the vehicle information but I want to show you that uh, that you can customize everything here you can have on the first screen you can have on the on the screen here on the home screen and here on the widgets you can have actually wherever you want guys but if you go here on the menu you have all the menu and all the settings are right here so you have the telephone here you can customize the telephone pretty simple you have the radio and media you have the navigation of course that's one of the best i love this new navigation from volkswagen it's really smooth really responsive great colors you have uh, amazing amazing uh, navigation here so that's something to keep in mind and also it's work really fast once you set a destination the car will get you there in in no time you can see how fast it's loading and you can see also on the screen right there all those information it's just just crazy good great now that you see that also you can if you want to to cancel you just press that x uh, pretty simple you have also the settings for the navigation day, day night settings here you have all the route settings and stuff like that it's easy to use after you get used with it it's, it will be get super easy uh, then you have the vehicle on the vehicle here you have most of the settings of the car and here you have the electric range for example let me go for the first time first time it's vehicle up here in the corner and then you have here the interior and exterior in the interior you have all the all these nice graphic and all those options very nice displayed on the screen and then you can customize different from different uh, things from here directly you just press this the seats for example um, and if you want for example the exterior you will get to exterior you have comfort light tires headlamps mirrors I don't want to go too much into detail because I already make a full review about that if you want to find out more about those uh, informations uh, check out my full review multimedia system Volkswagen multimedia system 2020 or 2021 is the same system uh, I have already the video on, on my channel so check it out there but uh, overall it's a great great uh, system also from here from driving electric you can change how you like the recuperation to work if you want high recuperation if you want low recuperation you can change it from here or you can leave it automatic so keep in mind you have this option to change the different regenerative modes so that's that's quite quite good 
Uh, great, going forward on the eye here, on the status, you have service and errors. If the car have errors, you can see how much uh, range you still have with the car. The data here, you can see different data about the car, the kilometers, the, the consumption that you already see it before. And on the E display here, this is new only for plug-in hybrids or hybrids or electric, uh, you can see how many kilometers you can still drive in sport mode, in which mode you are, potential plus one kilometer if you close the climatic system. Uh, then if you go to energy flow, you can see the energy flow here while you're driving. If you want to see how this is working, check out my other video with the test drive. Uh, in the test drive, you can see the graphics, how it's working. And I cannot show you right now when the car is stationary. Uh, app connect, you can connect your apps. Of course, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, mirror link it's awesome that you can have all those applications i will have another video with android auto to show you how it's work if you want to see that android auto how it's work the multimedia system from the volkswagen check out on my channel on the next days uh, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out because i will have to make the video i didn't make it yet so just subscribe the, the to the channel and then you will see the notification when this video will come out but it's great that you can you can use the the phone the Android, the Apple, uh, you can use it right here. So it's it's a great, great system. Settings here, mirror link, of course, you have all that stuff. Then users, sound on the sound, you can change the sound volume, focus uh, and volume and stuff like that. It's also great to be able to do that. Going to the second page, my favorite part, the background light here. You can customize the lights the way you want it. You can change the brightness, you can change the colors, the moods, you can change the moods, eternity. Once you change the mood here, it will change also on the screen there. So you can put it orange, you will have it orange. Um, and not only uh, the screen, but it will change also the colors in the display. You can see even this button here on the right side. It will be red or it will be green, depending which mode you are choosing to, to do it. Anyway, uh, also, yeah, I forget to show you the ambient light in the doors, ambient light in the, in the doors in the back. Uh, it will look really good in the nighttime. So keep in mind that those uh, ambient light, it's just super nice. The e-manager here, the app, you already see it here. Uh, you have all the information about the car. You can change, for example, recharge time, uh, how much air conditioning when it's stationary, how to be departure time. You can, you can schedule uh, air conditioning uh, and then you have the settings, charging level if you want to limit the charging uh, level here when the vehicle is unlocked, use electricity from the um, high voltage battery if necessary, reduce the vehicle range, e-manager, yeah, anyway, uh, all the information are here from the charging station and then you have the settings, uh, the assistance systems, you already see it, I show you, yes, so you know it, and then you have the, 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 the auxiliar heater, uh, I think this car come also with this heating pump, I'm not sure about that. I have to check it out. But auxiliar heater, that means it has a heated pump. So that's impressive, to be honest. Anyway, I have to check, but interesting. Uh, and then you have the settings here, where you change the language, the screen, the time and date, units, kilometer miles, so wherever you want to change, uh, you have it here. Anyway, you want to see more, check out the full review with the multimedia system on my channel. I have there all the information, but I think you just make an idea about the way it works, uh, this system. Overall, great visibility from the driver point of view. Uh, it's a perfect visibility, in my opinion. Up here, you don't have a glasses support. I'm, sad about that uh, they, they take it out but you have these nice LED lights here just put your finger and then you have kind of a touch uh, touch screen light there and then you have the buttons for SOS buttons and uh, yeah let me zoom in SOS button service buttons are right there so that's useful uh, these days to be honest uh, good and also I think in Europe it's a regulatory it's 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 a must-have in a car those uh, SOS button and service button anyway you have an LED light here mirror pretty nice fancy place here you have a, a handle great quality on the roof great quality here also you have a speaker on the A pillar 
on the both sides. And overall, that was the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you, um, the, the review with this new Golf 8 e-hybrid or i-hybrid plug-in. Um, in my opinion, it's a great all-arounder. I think it's the best all-arounder. Great price, great car, uh, great safety systems, great navigation system, great comfort. Uh, the only minus for this car that I find it it's the space in the trunk because you cannot put so many things down there but if you don't carry many items with the car uh, if you have two person here you can fold down the seats carry many things without any problem uh, will be not such a big problem so overall it's a great car guys i hope you enjoy my review please subscribe to my channel if you want to see the other videos if you want to see the test drive with this car uh, you will have it on my channel in the next days if you want to see the multimedia system, if you want to see how the Android Auto work on the new uh, Volkswagen Golf multimedia system, uh, click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out. Uh, also, don't forget to like, share. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate uh, that you're watching and your comments and uh, you support me. So thank you to all of you guys that subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you're safe and good. I hope you, you make the best decision. I hope uh, my videos are useful for you. Uh, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.